portals in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariet and I would use it to... Hide from your governess. Which luckily she noted down in her diary, thus I knew where to await you. Never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Calm down, both of you. But... No buts. Let's go. Really want to be done with this. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ah, uh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declaf ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. You nervous? Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex. Especially so when said ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. Ugh. May I be honest? Yes. I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. Let's get ready. Dadloff will be here any moment now. simple. I... Oh no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. <sighs> A shame. Sienna. What I had to do. What she deserved. Beauclair will know peace once more. The vampires will have left the city by dawn. I shall leave as well. Go far away, far from men. You can try to stand in my way. 
then I shall kill you both. Though that is not at all my will. The decision is yours. You can go. But if ever we meet again... I shall keep my distance, believe me. Geralt, Regis, farewell. I'm sorry. I swore to protect her, I know, but... But it happened so fast. What have we done? Let a killer walk. Isn't that what you wanted from the start, though? We have to let Anna Henrietta know. Geralt, you will face... I know. All the same, we have to inform her. Hey there, Geralt of Rifia. What do you want? Me? Not a thing. <laughs> Name's Handsome Jacques, and I've already got it all. What I wonder is if there's anything you'd need. What can you get me exactly? Exactly? <laughs> anything a patron of this little auberge might desire. From decent fiddles that won't stew your innards to a dab of fisty to make you fly. Even brought in a slinky piece of arse once. A boarder claimed to suffer from glandular overactivity or some such. You see, out there beyond the walls, I'm a lowly dog's body. But here, in the Klingdom of the Clink, I'm the Kling. Can't readily think of anything. Come now, mate. We all need something. You've just not been in here long enough to know. You know me? How? No. That's a stretch. No, I wouldn't say that, no. But I do know they've assigned you to the laundry, same as me. And I know what you're in for, your dastardly deed. Then again, I know that about every jester who winds up here. Hmm. Kind of curious to know what you know, or think you know. The Duquesa hired you to find the butcher of Beauclair, and you did, but then you let him butcher dear Anarietta's sis. Then this brute simply vanished, dropped off the face of the earth, though in his case, turned to vapor, might be the better phrase. Hmm, seem pretty well informed. Best informed mutt in this kennel paws down. Duquesa's cross, no doubt, while you await your trial, Though she never seemed concerned for her sister before. Since you seem to know so much, tell me one last thing. My sentence. What'll it be? <laughs> None can tell you that. Anarietta's a fickle cocotte. There's just no knowing which teach she's like to flesh. But I'd advise against escape. You're a prisoner among many now. Take flight, though. Make it out. Public enemy number one. Why'd they lock you up? Ah, uh, hodgepodge. I had no domicile, but had to winter somewhere, so I robbed a shopkeeper. Couldn't have made a worse mistake. The penalty was a fine, an amount I couldn't pay, so they switched it to lashes, meted out on my bum. After that, I shifted course, started pinching bigwigs' noses. Cut the tail of Count Beauvieux's steed. Got a year and a half for that. My next exploits had to be grander, even greater wrongs. So I carefully chose my victim, Marshal de la Steak. Filled his cask with dung from between my very own cheeks. That got me three years of free room and board. I'll pull another prank as soon as they let me out. Made it a career. It's become my way of life. 
We're gonna report for this laundry duty. Rather get it over with. Away we go. Personally, I'm pleased we're assigned to it. Those rags stink like sick in the sun, but you get used to it. And when you're working, you get more bread. Don't get my dandy. I've no clue, because but we're better off chomping grass. I'll get with with your dandy. You get my dandy. Right. You're tough to that, did you? And I sure did. Me up for I haven't had a speck of trouble with no that sausage staff ever since. Had no right to learned know. his lesson. What? That was worth it. I can't stand this. Rubbish! Pack the dirty rags in the tub. I'll see to the sons and workers. Have the bellies of colicky newborns. Take the stick and stir the rags. Water's almost boiled. Guardian of Gutter snipes locked in the clink. How did that happen? My, my. What could the Duchess's favorite have done to deserve this? Back off. I'm busy. Hear that? The laundry wench is busy. Yet I fear we have a matter to resolve. Remember our meeting, boot black bodyguard? You go ahead and cheat. I'll be back once you're done. <sighs> Thanks for sticking around to help, Jacques. You're in the coop, mate. Only one thing counts here, survival. Folk don't stick their necks out for anyone besides themselves. Oh, oh. He left you all alone. Come on. Be constructive. Make yourselves useful. Yes, we should see to the wash, or they'll put us in confinement. Hey! The mutants trying charms on us. Can't you see? Your tricks won't work here, lad. You cannot mesmerize all three of us at once. Grab yourselves, washboards, boys. But move. Oh. What is going on here? Oh. Nothing. I'm not asking you, but the one on the floor. Have you anything to say? I slipped on some soap. You slipped on soap? Lots of soap here. It is a laundry. Harlots, brutes. Solitary for the lot of you. You'll have ample time to consider. Think about the choices you've made in life. I'll make certain of it. Didn't do anything to deserve solitary. Shut it! Milton was my cousin. You let him die. Was the Duquesa's coin not enough? Did you expect more to save a good man's life? Arrived too late. Nothing I could do. And when the beast tore apart the Duquesa's sister? Too late then, too? Were it up to me, you'd have hanged already. And don't you try any witcher tricks on me. You will end oh so badly if you do. Here of your own free will, Stefan? Or did they lock you up too? Bet you're thinking about food. What you'll eat once you're free. Mutton leg. That's what I'm dreaming of. Well roasted on the outside. Nice and juicy in the middle. Are you the lout from Rivia? Yep, I'm that lout. Come with me. You're to be sentenced. To what? To shut it. What am I, the town crier? Hands behind your back. Now let's go, and no funny business.
Get ready. Soon all your problems will be solved, once and for all. Do you know where this leads? No. Hope it's the exit, though. You guessed it. The thing is, there are different kinds of exits. Some walk this path to freedom. Others walk it straight into eternity. Which am I headed for? I don't know. Yet one thing is certain. You will never walk this path again. Mark Dubois, you are hereby judged guilty of trampling Alice Valref, the cupbearer's wife, while on horseback. The woman's condition is critical. It was an accident. I was riding fast through, but she jumped out in front of me. In light of the above, there can be but one sentence. Death by decapitation. No, I didn't do anything! Help! There must be witnesses! Off with his head. Next. Paul, the Witcher, take him to the tower. That's an order. An order's an order. Guess you're not next after all. Follow me. You're supposed to follow me. Why do you make me watch that execution? So you'd know this is no alms house for lost orphan boys. Wanted me to think I was next. Enjoy that? Getting a rise out of folk? You guessed it. The harlot's hounds that land here, I detest them. So I do everything in my power so they'll know they're in the clink, not on holiday. I've brought the prisoner, sir. Unbind him and leave us. Greetings, Witcher. Your face... doesn't look good. Though, looked even worse last time I saw you. I apply an Arnica extract. I can hardly feel it anymore. But my scars pale in comparison to the fate Siana met with. The fate that was your doing. I trusted you. And how did you repay me? Consider it, Witcher. Why do you think the Duquesa had Siana hidden away to start with? Can you guess? I'm sorry. Might not believe me, but... Couldn't have predicted that turn of events. Certainly never wanted that. Enough. We shall speak of it no more. Guess there's been a decision in my case. Truly? Is that all you care about? Your own hide? Not only. Also care how the Duchess feels, for example. And I hope that, unlike you, she doesn't blame this all on me. A court hurt your case, not Anna Henrietta. The facts are as follows. You were hired to kill the beast. Not only did you fail in that endeavor, but you also caused the death of our Duquesa's sister. Have I missed anything? I'll have you know that were it up to me, you would rot in our dungeon until your dying day. Glad you didn't have the deciding vote then. At any rate, I am not the best person to tell you what was decided in your matter. I'd say the man who worked hardest to tip the scales in your favor should. What are you talking about? What man? Dandelion? Sheesh, Geralt. You look like you've seen a ghost. A ghost wouldn't have surprised me half this much, I promise you. What are you doing in Beauclair? Officially, visiting Honorietta, that is to say, the Duchess, we're old friends, ah, but you know that. Unofficially, I'm saving your hiney. You? You're a persona non grata in Toussaint. Undesirable. Didn't stop me from risking my skin for you. In my book, friendship is all that matters. Well, friendship and love. And art. Oh, and wine. How'd you even know I was in prison? Regis came to see me right after they locked you up. I mean, Regis, right? <laughs> Can you believe that? To come back after... Amazing. He told me everything, and naturally, I couldn't possibly leave you to rot in there. Take it I'm free, thanks to you. 
How do you manage it? Oh, I have my ways. Took a little persuasive logic, blended in some deft rhetoric, then added a generous pinch of charm, and voila, you're free. But just so you know, it wasn't easy. In fact, it was pretty damn hard. Duchess was so furious, I think she even forgot she'd banished me from Beauclair. For life. All she could do was scream that you'd never set foot outside that dungeon again. How'd you get her to take a fresh look at things? I appealed to the faultless intentions that guided you. To your reputation, your accomplishments, and... Well, ultimately, she changed her mind, and you're free. Never wants to see you again, but... Even got her to leave your vineyard with you. You won't get a copper of your promised reward, but you'll keep your estate. Dandelion, you are a regular master of diplomacy. Thanks. Listen, you do whatever needs doing, but I've got to get to the cemetery. Henrietta's in bad shape with Sienna dead. Some folk forget that under the ducal regalia, she's just an ordinary woman who's lost a loved one. Been meaning to ask you, how's Priscilla? All right. Recovering steadily from the horror she's been through. So, you two, you're still... Of course we are. How could you even think it was otherwise? No idea. Just within the realm of possibilities. But please be careful not to lead Anna Henrietta on. Suggest you've come here for any reason beyond getting me out of my predicament. The bond between the Duchess and myself is one of pure friendship, nothing more. Now, off to console a friend in need. All right. See you later. See you, Geralt. Off we go. You'll collect your things at the door. Follow me to the exit. Things are past the first gate. Take to leave. I don't really have feet. Don't smile so wide. Someone's liable to see. Could mean trouble. I can't help myself. Just so glad to see you. Glad to see you too, my vampire friend. Thanks for getting Dandelion to come out. It was nothing. True, he was not at first terribly eager to face the Duchess, but I managed to persuade him his person was indispensable. Well played. Dandelion loves being indispensable. Yet he so rarely is, poor man. What did you do while I, uh... While you vegetated in that correctional facility? I used the time to think. Wish to know what I thought about. Of course. The relationship between two numbers. Declaf's four victims and the five chivalric virtues. As you've no doubt noted, there's a difference of one. Mean to tell me, after all we've figured out, that you now believe in the whole five virtues punished theory? Belief's got nothing to do with it. It's cold logic, deduction. Siana went to great lengths to make folk believe the beast was punishing those who betrayed the virtues. Were I in her shoes, I'd make sure the number of victims matched. Are you not at all curious who was meant to be the fifth? If I say yes, what then? Then you'll come with me for another chat with the boot black. You see, I've learned he delivered the notes to Detlaf. Our search starts with him. Fine, see what he has to say. Could use a good walk, work out the kinks if nothing else. Come then. Oh, it's the 
the chap with the swords. Sir, you look like some beast ate you up then spat you out. Are you here for a spiffing? Boots make the man, they say. Step on up! Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Clean boots, clean soles. A fine slogan. How's business? Well enough, I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beggars brought them. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. Each was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh! I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They pick them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that bootshine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. You must visit the shelter. Look around inside. Oh. <clears throat> Greetings. You've to move your little camp elsewhere. Got it? You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. All right. I can take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Need some information. 
Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. I gave it to the boot black. And Freshy? He got one. But he can't tell you. As he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. I need the letter. It's very important. It's no use to you anymore. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said. And she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtues their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes, and yes. All those make sense, and none are mutually exclusive. Can only guess what drove Siana. Luckily, Anna Henrietta is safe now. 
I believe we may dare to assume so. Siana's death was also the death of the Duchess's only natural rival. She is in no danger for now. Pretty rare thing for a ruler. <sighs> what do we do now? Now we drink. Unless, that is, you feel a witchly duty to see the Duchess and tell her what we just learned. <sighs> Think this might be something Anna Henrietta should know. As you wish. I shall await you at Mare La Chaiselon, a mug of Mandrake brew to keep me company. Not coming with? No. After the horror Detlaf brought down upon the city, and in light of Siana's death, I think it wiser not to appear at the palace. Probably right. See you later then. Before heading to the palace, you might wish to see if Anna Henrietta is not at the city cemetery. She spent a great deal of time at her sister's grave these last days. Geralt, why have you come? Forgotten already? The murderer you were to kill lives, while the Duquesa's sister lies dead. Wouldn't have come if I didn't have to, promise you that. But I've learned something, something that might interest Anna Henrietta. Hmm. Forgive me if I lend no credence to your word. Found a letter Siana wrote to the murderer. Hmm. Very well. You may enter. But I make no promises as regards the Duquesa. She mourns her sister in the Ducal Crypt. Viscount de Lettenhof is with her. Remember, my dear Honorietta, despair is like a stormy sky. Sooner or later, the sun must drive away the clouds. That is easy for you to say. The one murdered was not your sister. My life hasn't exactly been a bed of roses. Uh, true, my sister was murdered. Don't even have a sister, actually. But many times I've lost. Ugh, unimportant. Your Grace. The impudence you must harbor to come in here after all that's happened. Calm down. I'm sure Geralt's got a very good reason. Right, Geralt? Before you start dumping accusations on me, I think you should know something. Siana, she was a vicious, wicked woman. Who are you to tell me who my own sister was? I'm the man you hired to investigate the Beast of Beauclair. And I found a letter your sister wrote to the murderer. Really? Maybe you should read it then. It could be important. You read it, Dantelai. Aloud to me. This time you must see to our Duquesa. Anna Henrietta knows nothing of empathy. Her heart is cold. This shard of ice you must tear from her breast. My sister could never have written that. Got proof she did. No. I don't believe you. I don't believe it. Someone seeks to blacken her in my eyes. I won't allow it. There, there, Honorietta. Don't get upset. The letter is vile. It's slander. You must destroy it. Do you hear? No one else must ever read it. Ever! Consider it done. And you, out! Get out of here! This is all you're doing! Be gone, hear me! I never wish to see you again! I shall never believe she did this. She was not capable. This is an outrage, Dandelion! Tell him it's not true! Tell him it's a dirty lie! Geralt, get out of here, please. The Duchess, she needs to be alone. Ah. 
As to her enlightened highness, didn't go great. Got the full kaleidoscope of her emotional states. Spun through it at an impressive pace, too. Am I to understand she didn't throw her arms about you and shower you with thanks for saving her from her murderous sister? Got that right. I don't blame her, though. Luckily, Dandelion was there to smooth things over. Somewhat. As you know, I had little sympathy for Siana. Nonetheless, I very much regret I could not keep her safe. To you, her ultimate fate, does it still bring on the occasional pang of regret? Yeah. Still. Well then. Drink up. Beau Claire seems safe now, though I'm still left wondering. I mean, Dedloff's alive. Think Anna Henrietta's still in danger? No. He had a score to settle with Siana. By his reckoning, he did just that. He has no reason to attack anyone else. Or to remain in Beauclair any longer. Sure hope so. Though in his boots, I'd regret having to go. Place is just plain beautiful, damn it. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantel and take to pruning vines? Know what? Think I just might. Come on now, don't laugh. Maybe not today or tomorrow. But one day I'll want to see what it's like to just wake up every day in my own bed. Oh, stop, please. Sounds so sentimental, my fangs have begun to hurt. Then what? Will you begin writing your memoirs like Dandelion? I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you now? Got a plan? I do. I must find Detlaf. Help him. I certainly owe him that much. Vampire friendships. Clear rules. Must be nice. Do I detect a note of sarcasm? Not at all. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.